Most people I know don't like doing confirmation retreats. It's probably why you're watching this video right now because you're looking for someone to do yours. Well, fortunately you've come here because I love doing confirmation retreats. Now what I've seen in my life over the years is that people normally go to one of two extremes with confirmation retreats. The first extreme is that the people go to is that what they do is they think, well, it's a mandatory retreat. We have to keep the kids here. We want to make sure that it's meaningful. So we're going to turn it into a six hour religious ed class. And it's just one thing after another and the kids are sitting there bored out of their minds. The other kind of retreat extreme that I've seen is where people say, well, we don't want them to have a negative experience. We don't want them to be bored. So what they do is they just turn it into six hours of fun. And so the kids have a great time, but they don't get anything out of it. What I like to do is try to get somewhere in the middle with that. I like to start off the day with a lot of fun. I know they're coming in there, a lot of them with a bad attitude. They're saying, I don't want to be here. Uh, this is a Saturday. I could be doing something different than I am right now. And so I want to come in. I want to play games with them. I want to tell some funny stories, do some jokes, get them laughing and get them smiling, get them loosened up. I don't even necessarily need them to have a positive attitude right at the beginning. I'm just asking them to have an open attitude at the beginning. And that's what we try to do in the first hour and a half or so. Then what I like to do is I like to go into prayer after that. And what I do with the kids with prayers, I really try to get them into an encounter with Christ. If we can do it in the church, that's great. Uh, if there's no church available, then we can do it in the room that we're in. But we try to get the kids into an environment where they can really connect with God in a personal level. What I like to do then is when I do my sessions with the kids, I really just like to talk heart to heart with them. Uh, that's how I operate. I don't really have a, a big theology degree and all this information in my head. I just speak from the heart. And I try to teach them the truths of the church about confirmation on this retreat and really impact their lives. I do that with uh, three main sessions. The first session that we cover is we ask this big question, what do you want out of life? And what I help them to discover is that what all of us are looking for in life is we're looking for happiness, love, purpose, and peace. And then ultimately we can only find happiness, love, purpose, and peace in Jesus Christ and in a relationship with him. The second session we then focus on is trusting Jesus. Because it's one thing to be able to say, I believe in Jesus, I love Jesus, I accept his love for me, and I wanna follow him. But it's a completely different idea to trust him with our lives, with everything, with our future, with uh, our possessions, uh, with everything that we have and everything that we are. And so we focus on that. And the third session, what we do is we say this important question, how do we get to heaven? And we talk about how confirmation, about how grace is what enables us to get to heaven by following Jesus on that narrow road. Now, sometimes the retreat uh, uh, wants to, the people that are doing the retreat want it to be a little bit longer. So what we do is uh, we can add on a fourth session, which is like a Catholic question and answer session. And sometimes the group that's bringing me in likes to have mass as part of the retreat, either with the retreat uh, participants or with the parish. And that's fine. We can do that as well. Sometimes they also like to have adoration. So this is what I do in a confirmation retreat. And if you're interested in that, I hope that you contact me and I look forward to working with you more. God bless.